Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. So it's currently 4.15 in the morning and we're getting ready to bring Alex to the airport. We just woke up. I'm exhausted, as you could probably tell. And it's pretty normal for waking up at 4.15 in the morning. So she's just getting dressed and then we're gonna head off on the road and she's gonna be gone. It's quite sad, I'm gonna miss her a lot. All right, we're back guys. I didn't film as much as I had planned to. I was gonna film going to the airport and saying goodbye to Alex, but we were so tired that I like completely forgot. Give her a big hug, big kiss, said goodbye, hop back in the car, drove back home. I was like barely, well, I mean, I was paying attention, but like I wasn't really thinking much. And then I got back home, I went back to sleep, and I just got up now, just finished editing yesterday's video, and I realized I didn't really film much. But I'm headed off to my sister's house. I gotta go give my brother-in-law his birthday present. Uh, I still have a set of their house keys that I need to give back to them from like a month and a half ago when I when I was like house sitting for them. Well, not house sitting, but like just making sure their house is okay. So I gotta do that. After that, I don't really know what I have planned for today. Alex just texted me, she landed in Florida and she is now off to the Bahamas. So her first flight went well, second flight should be good. I'll watch it on my phone. But yeah, I'm gonna just wash up quickly. You see my hair is messy because I went back to sleep. Um, because we woke up at four. I'm not gonna stay up since four. So I went back to sleep from like six till 8.30. I'm, I'm like sweaty, I need to wash. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see right now by the windows, but it's actually really foggy outside again today. And that's mostly because it's warming up again. So right now on the dashboard it says it's five degrees Celsius outside, which is warmer than it's been over the last few days. Not quite as warm as it was last week on like Friday. Uh, it was Friday or Saturday that it was really warm out, uh, but this is definitely warmer. So it's making me drive a little more cautious because I can only see like, whoop, big bump. I can only see like maybe 20 meters in front of me. Otherwise it's like phew, straight fog, I can't see anything. So I'm trying to drive a little more cautiously. Luckily, there's not many people on this road. I've driven down this road probably like 30 times and Maybe twice I've seen other cars on it while I'm on it. It's very rare and we take pictures here all the time It's really good because it's not a very busy road And it's beautiful. But yeah, gonna go hang on my sister I haven't seen them in a long time because they were away Before we went to Europe they were in Cuba and then we were away in Europe And it's just been it's been a while. It's been like almost a month a few weeks It's been quite a long time. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see Brody and Jamie So yeah, you guys can probably see what I mean here it's pretty foggy. It actually doesn't show up quite as much on camera, but it's pretty foggy, so I'm trying to drive slow. What's up, guys? Currently in Bahamas. It's really hot. Um, we're at a rooftop um, pool, as you can see. And we got our virgin pina coladas, so cheers. How nice is this view? over there living the life all right guys here's a little update going forward on the day came back from my sister's house and I actually fell asleep again I'm really tired this waking up super early to drive out to the airport really killed me because I also didn't fall asleep that early last night I probably went to bed at like midnight got up at four and then took a nap before and took another nap now. So I, I think I'm finally catching up with my sleep and I just woke up, it is 4.30 in the afternoon. I think it's about time to go to the gym. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I think what I'll do when I get back from the gym is have a little rundown of what I did at the gym today and I'll just sort of explain to you what my program was today and just sort of go over that and, and stuff that I do and then maybe throughout this week, if you guys like it and if it's well received, I'll go through like my other days and we can do like a weekly plan uh, of the stuff I do at the gym because a lot of you did show interest in it yesterday in the comment section So that's something we can think about doing definitely But I wanted to show you guys the tree so you can see we have trimmed it quite a lot and now this branch is really dying It's wilted. It's brown. So I'm gonna have to cut that one off, too We've been watering it, but trying not to overwater it and I don't know guys I don't know what to say. It doesn't look too good. I can see this one is splitting a little bit which means it is starting to grow this one doesn't look like it's gonna come back. I don't know. I really don't know what to say. I've been trying to do it good. I've been trying to take care of it, but I just don't think it's gonna survive. I think it just had too much damage. Like, look at these ones too. They're starting to wilt. They're starting to droop. 
Same with that one, I don't know, we'll see. Um, as you can see outdoors, it is also still very cloudy and foggy. It was pouring rain before, so you can see a lot of the snow is melted again, but it's not the nicest of days, which probably doesn't help with making me so tired. Because I do know that when it's gray out, it does sort of put a damper on people's moods and it can make you more tired than you actually seem. So that's probably why I'm more tired. But I'm walking over this way because the battery is blinking at me and I'm gonna change it. All right, so there we go. I'm just gonna have a glass of water, sit for like 10 more minutes so I can wake myself up because I literally just woke up from a nap and, uh, and then we'll get ready to go to the gym. Oh my God, my face is so blotchy. That's great. I just watched the... I'm filming in case you're confused. Um, I like basically just rewatched those clips at the pool and I'm like, wow, like my skin is so blotchy and so dark. It looks ridiculous. But after I showered tonight, it's going to be fine. Um, Kat's at the gym here is really nice. She went to the bathroom before upstairs by the pool and whoa. Yeah, it looks really sick. So I'm excited. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna go work out later after dinner. Then shower. <laughs> oh my God, you're so <laughs> and then. I was supposed to put this robe on like. <laughs> five minutes on my phone and I did nothing. Like, oh. Isn't that the story of your life? You get out of the shower, you want to change, but you like yeah. literally walk around in your towel for so long. That always happens to me. I don't know how to hold this phone without putting my finger in the frame. Hold on a second. <laughs> Uh, uh, guys, look at my hair. Like, this is what I have to deal with. Cat, like, showered. She's gonna be all pretty for dinner. And I'm working out later, so there's no point in me even trying. But I'm excited. This trip, first of all, the hotel is so nice. The people here are so nice. Like, all the influencers that we're with, they're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. Oh my gosh, Kat, I had so many comments, like, sweet comments about you in my video. Which one? The one that you didn't want to be in, and then finally you were in. Aww. So many people were like, I don't know why she didn't want to be filmed. She's so beautiful. Oh my god. Well, thank you. But... You're so pretty. <laughs> Stop. 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 <sighs> I miss you, Dan. Love you. Okay. Outside now. Walking with Kat. Hello. To dinner. And it's so beautiful. Like we have the yacht right there. Beautiful, you can't really see, but it's a really beautiful sunset. Look at that. That's so nice. Wow, the front camera is so much better than the back camera. Or the, wait, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> and these are my shoes. <laughs> what do you want to see? I want to see the pictures we took. You want to see the pictures we took? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with Alex for a bit while I was at the gym. I kept notes like I always do on my phone of what I did. So we're going to run through it. I'll show you guys what I did. I didn't take any video because I was alone. If when Alex gets back, you guys still want to see stuff, she can definitely film some of my exercises. But today was a push day. So basically, it's all chest exercises, a little bit of shoulder, and then a little bit of tricep at the end. Um, so I do that this routine one day a week and that way it gives my body because it's a pretty overload but it gives my body like a good chance to I can't even hold the camera up right now um, it gives my body a good chance to recover throughout the week and then when we come back to it next week we're fresh and ready to go and try to improve a little bit strength wise um, so we start with just to warm up 20 bench press with just the bar so it's not uh, not very heavy uh, just to warm up then we add a plate on each side we do 10 reps at 135 pounds just again, still warming up. Then we try to do three times six reps on bench press, as heavy as I can possibly do for six reps. So this week I tried to go a little lighter at the beginning because it's been two weeks since I've been in the gym uh, for this day specifically. So I started at 225, I did six reps, so I upped it to 235 and did six and then six again. Last week, or not last week, two weeks ago before we left for Europe, I was able to do 245. So I'm hoping to get back to that by next week, but you always have to deload a little bit when you miss that much time. After the flat bench press, we go to incline bench press. So now you're sitting up a bit on an incline. So you're getting a little bit more shoulder and upper chest work. So again, three times six reps, as heavy as you can possibly do for six reps. So I did 185 pounds for those, six uh, three times six. So I was able to get six reps for each one, which is good because that's what I did before Europe. And so I was proud that I was able to do the same weight for that. Then we go into the fly machine. So you're using both hands and squeezing together. I think you've seen Alex 
do that in her video. Again, three times six, trying to go as heavy as you can for the six reps. So again, I went down a bit. I went down to 230 pounds just to see. It was easy, so I went back to 240, which is what I did before Europe, and it was perfect. I was able to do 666. Ooh, I never realized how bad that sounds, 666, but I'm not like superstitious with that stuff, so it doesn't bother me. Then I move on to like a superset, so I'm pairing up two exercises at a time, six reps for both, so it ends up being 12 reps times three. The first one is taking dumbbells and gluing them together on your chest, so both hands are here and you got the dumbbells glued against you and you're pressing up with the dumbbells things stuck together. You do six reps like that, and then right away you change into six reps of flies. So you're lying down on a bench, six like this, and then six flies. So uh, for the press, I do with 65 pounds, six reps, and then for the flies, just 35 pounds, a nice good stretch, six reps. So once you do like six plus six, 12, you do that three times, you move on. Then we go to dips, so dips are pretty simple. You on bar with both hands and you're dipping. Um, but I put on a, a waist belt with some weight and I add 55 pounds, try to do three times six again, if you can. So this week it didn't work out too well because by this point I was getting pretty tired. So like I said, it's been over two weeks since I did this day. So I did the 55 pounds, but I was only able to do four and a half reps twice and then I just called it quits because I was like, my chest is dead, I'm not gonna be able to do any more. So I moved on from that. Normally I would try to do three times six, but it just wasn't gonna happen today. Then the last exercise we move on to is just a little bit of tricep work. So you take a rope and you're pressing down and trying to really extend your arm as straight as possible. So you're getting that squeeze behind your tricep. So you just do whatever you can. You're not really trying to go heavy on this one because it's more just maintenance and just a little bit of extra work to tire it out. Uh, so I did 105 with the rope, three times six, six reps each. So that was it, and then I just finish off with a little bit of abs. So I do bicycles, which is when you crisscross crunches, so you're crossing like knee to opposite elbow. Um, and then I do simple crunches, and then I do some leg kicks. And I go through that twice, and that's it. So that is my like push day, mostly chest exercises and then some triceps. I'm definitely gonna be sore tomorrow. I can feel it already. My chest feels like my legs did two days ago when I did my leg workout. It's always really hard when you come back from a long workout, so I'm pretty dead. But that's what I do. And then always after my workout, I have my little smoothie. So I try to do like uh, peanut butter, a banana. Today we didn't have any, so I did frozen mango. And then I try to add a bunch of greens, so like kale or spinach or whatever we have in the fridge. I just throw a big handful of greens in and then I use some protein powder. It's just simple whey. Uh, whey protein powder, vanilla flavored, very simple, very low fat, very low sugar, just pretty straight protein. So if you guys are interested in that, give it a thumbs up, maybe leave a comment, let me know if you think it's cool. Um, if you wanna see video of it, let me know, I can show you guys video when Alex gets back, but that's basically what I did today. Uh, tomorrow will be a pull day, so it'll be mostly like lats and back and like you're in between your shoulder blade muscles, your rhomboids, and then a little bit of bicep work at the end. Then the next day we go uh, deadlifts and shoulder exercises. So we do like some heavy deadlifts and then some like um, lighter weight extra reps deadlifts. And then we, did all sh we do all shoulder exercises. Then we do legs again on Saturday. Then we do arms on Sunday because Sunday I normally like don't like to go to the gym, so if I do, I just do some fun arm exercises because it's really not that important. You get plenty of arm work throughout the week anyways, it's just like some extra fun. And then Sundays I'll, I'll often skip it. So like if I skip my arm workout, I don't care. And then we're back to Monday legs again. So that's normally my week, but um, yeah, it's pretty fun. Let me know if you guys liked it. Well, look what I just did while trying to cook some dinner, guys. I tried to pull the rice out and I knocked over the balsamic vinegar and it shattered. So, we gotta clean this mess up, damn it. Oh, man. Okay, let's get the rice out. I need to go downstairs and get more paper towel. God, come on. Ugh. There's glass everywhere now, my god. All right, this sucks. So I think I've at least blocked most of the leaking, except for that part and over there. I'm trying to like form a barrier around it so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I guess I gotta pick the glass up. Lucky thing is it didn't like it didn't fall from high and like explode. It literally fell like three or four inches, so it just cracked. And so you can see the pieces there. Um, but I can always go get the vacuum too. Okay, I gotta do more. All right, I seem to have contained it, but as you can see, it is still kind of brown in some places. So I'm gonna have to go get some Swiffer pads. But I did pick up all the glass, I think. I don't see any more. Uh, I'll probably vacuum too to make sure, but whoo. Catastrophe averted. So I'm almost done making dinner. I'm just having some chicken, some vegetables, some rice, just very simple. Uh, I want to try to use up what we had in the fridge 
And then my friend's coming over tomorrow, so we might order food, and then that way I don't have to buy any groceries and have it go bad. So um, maybe on Friday, I'll buy some groceries. All right guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I still have my toque on. I did not even realize, and now I have hat hair. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I can't even take myself seriously right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, if you're new and you're still watching, subscribe down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.